and we're back. Welcome, everyone. We are all tied up at one to one. Cash went to phase, train goes to big, but now we set our sights on Inferno, and this will decide who will go up against Cloud9. You seem rather excited, Moses. I am pretty pumped. I, I like this series. It's been it's been fun. I just I was just watching like the camera shot of the crowd, and I just can't but feel like eighty percent is just like waiting for the Cloud Nine game. They're just like, yeah. who's gonna play Cloud Nine? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I've been I've been very excited. It's been such a great uh, experience for myself personally, and also it's been great on social media as well. Can we talk? Can we highlight that? I, look at this. This feels like a <laughs> this feels like a shot at me. I'm not. No, I, not at all. Not at all. We actually had some folks send us uh, ways first. they were watching. I know, right? The event. <laughs> Phase versus Big E-League TV stream before bed. Hopefully you wake up in the morning, go to work, Matthew. He's not going to bed anytime soon. No, he's not. Feel bad, man. Feels bad, man. Anyway, we got uh, Phase with love from Russia. Pretty awesome stuff. Phase and up. All right. Then you have uh, Adren plus. Oh, okay. So John the Cat. That's a. I, who oh. would name their cat John? They must think really lowly of Adren. There are certain people in this world who cat. think that human names are appropriate for their pets. What would you call your your cat? Mr. Fluffikins? I named mine after, uh, I, my cat was named Maverick when I was growing up. I was okay. a big, you know, Top Gun fan. So. Okay, Very good. fair enough, fair enough. You know, <laughs> I could have gone in so many directions. <laughs> <laughs> And that was a little bit of social there. Make sure you guys are out there sending us some fun stuff on social media. Let us know how you're watching the event. Let us know who you're rooting for. You're rooting for Big, you're rooting for FaZe, you're rooting for Cloud9 potentially to win it all because they will be taking on the winner of this series. Let us know. Make sure you at E-League TV. Oh, man, it's been such a crazy day, but all the players are lining up and getting ready to go. A lot of good shots of bananas. Yeah. Indeed. Who eats a banana like that, though? And I tell you what, you know, it's a... Uh... Yeah, he was playing to the what? crowd, I What's with all the bananas? This is just... Brain food. Yeah. Hey, man, it's high in potassium. Okay? It's a, yeah. good, it's a good thing to have. And just... Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> all she just doesn't want to share his banana. Okay. It's, a, it's a PG broadcast. We can't be looking at that all day. What? Get your mind out of the gutter, sir. I'm just okay. saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> all right, Inferno. Let's focus on this one. Map three, we're gonna go to Inferno. We have not seen this map played yet here at the E-League uh, Invitational. And whoa, whoa! What, what just happened? Bardolf just threw a banana over here, the shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Did sir. Did it explode? <laughs> I'll have you know, I work on television with Dwayne Johnson, okay? I will not oh, tolerate this. That's a name drop. That's yeah, that, that was, was a, good a name drop. Now, that was a good name now drop. throw the chair. <laughs> yes, no, I can't do that. I, I, unlike Dwayne Johnson, lack all strength whatsoever. Another so, name drop. Another name drop. <laughs> there again. I had to do it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Okay, so uh, let's, let's talk about Inferno here. What are we, what are we going to be expecting here, guys? I mean, this is going to be a very tough game, I think, for yeah. FaZe. They got to dig themselves out of this. I think FaZe is going to need a couple pistols here because I think on their T side, they're going to struggle, especially in Panana, where Big is going to come very hard with some grenades. Some Molotovs, a lot of flashbang peaks at the half wall. They've been known to lock people out of that B-bomb site until 20 seconds left in the round. And FaZe becomes super one-dimensional, and that's why they ended up falling to Cloud9 at the Major. Yeah, I think it's going to be super interesting to watch this because I agree with Sean. I think that the nade work from Big is going to be really tough for FaZe to get around. But I think from what I've seen in these last two maps is some of the mid-rounds, like the 3v3s, the 2v2s, the 2v3s, all those weird X on X situations, I feel like FaZe has been the better team in those. They've, they've had they have players who are very savvy in those kind of scenarios, and obviously the aim is phenomenal. So they've been winning out on those. So if they can just like lessen, mitigate the nade damage and get into those mid-round yeah. scenarios where there's you know a player missing from each team, I think that's where they can really thrive if they can spread this this big defense thin a little bit. How does how does Big prevent that though? How how do they prevent FaZe from getting into that comfort zone? Well, interestingly enough, Inferno is a map where you know you can deny those engagements with smoke grenades, utility, you know, Molotovs on mid constantly. And, and big love to utilize utility. Yeah, it's it's so annoying actually as T sides that you know use skill because you can't have those fights. You can't get in those three three V threes. It always is just five V five counter strike. I think if you if you plan on that, if you know it's going to come as well, instead of maybe like a lot of teams, if you lose a player, you just kind of play this default defense where you spread out and kind of mm -hmm. just have you cover all the bases just a little bit. I think big, they've been organized enough in the past to really push areas of the map as a group. So instead of just trying to cover everything weekly, you kind of group up and you push either banana or you push into those a halls, get the information, and that way you're not kind of isolating your players for those for those weird mid round engagements. Now, I think it's uh, kind of fitting that you talk about banana. <laughs> Yes, yeah. that was just right there. <laughs> professionals. <laughs> so pretty. We are professionals, swear. Oh, boy, this is going to be an awesome one. All right, well, let's get into some predictions. Uh, 
Moses, I think I know where you're going, but I want to ask you anyway. What do yeah, you got? I'm, I'm sticking with FaZe now. I had, I had big take in map two. I was okay. right again. Um, so I'm going to go with FaZe in this third map to make it in the finals. Sean, pressure's on you, I, buddy. Do you I, commit? I'm going big. That was my original choice. I never wavered. I couldn't, actually. <laughs> it was the rules. So I just want to clarify. So Big is going to win this series 2-1. All, All right. right. Well, this is going to be very fun to watch, without a doubt. First time that we're going to get Inferno here in the E-League studio. Winner will move on to face off against Cloud9 in our championship match that will be coming up next. But we're going to send it over to your casters. You have DDK and a man with a noodle for an arm. Bardoff. <laughs> what does that <laughs> nice. even mean? I don't know he what means, that means. That. He means, James, hey, you couldn't throw it far enough. Hey, George Bush, right? He had a shoe thrown at him. I went to organic. You, should, you guys should be respecting that. I, mean, I care about you guys. <laughs> we have more pictures of how people are watching at home. We've seen a cat. Do we have any dogs, any chickens? I don't know. I have a friend who used to have ducks. Oh, we really? had a, one season of e Oh, my God. It exploded, you bastard. <laughs> I've got banana on my shirt, man. Yes. I'm going to eat that. Oh, it's kind of... I'm not going to eat it. It's kind of melty. Oh. Nice. That, that was, so was that the cue? If so, like, we have, say this. I'm like, okay, I'll say this and I get hit by a banana. Jeez Louise. Damn talk. That was a good throw. That was, you should take some This is America. Games. I can sue. I don't even need to pay them. They'll still do it. <laughs> ah, there we go. Love it. We get more shots of people's setups. I've got banana finger and you, chest. You do deserve it, I don't know what that you, means. you started this. I don't know what that means. Let's not forget that. <laughs> Okay. I know I did start this, yeah, that's true. And speaking, speaking of which, bigger star that come back into this series, James. <laughs> They're going on to Inferno in his third and final match. I thought I have to bring this one in right now because- Yeah, it's all, I'm busy, I've yeah, got problems. You, you, do, <laughs> you do have some serious problems. And dry cleaning both for Golden Boy, I'm sure. But yes, we've seen that in the past, Big have been very favorable on Inferno. It's been a place of comfort. They've had shenanigans there. They've had gimmicks. Gimmicks have been taken away, but they, it is a map where you, know, you can really get a huge amount of mileage out of those tactics, out of those, that great utility usage that we know them for. So this is going to be a fantastic uh, finish to this series because I think it'll be a true test for FaZe, who are a great team across the board. But Big, I feel like they have a very strong chance here. I can't believe that, that Sean wavered. James, I didn't waver. I think the matches today, they felt 50-50 to me. I really didn't know who to pick at the start of the day. Phase on Inferno, though, always a treat, always fun to see. And um, again, bigger, almost notorious for, for Infernos of yours. So I wonder what the they will have to offer. notorious B.I.G., James? Uh, well done, Dan, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> he, was, he was a person, you know? Yeah. Anyway, we, go. Um, we will soon be into the game down to Inferno. It's, it's, is it ever bad when a series finishes on Inferno? I can't remember many that have been disappointing. So I think this is probably going to be a, a pretty explosive game of Counter-Strike. Faster pace than maybe the first map of this series. I'm very interested to see what happens here. What kind of gimmicks Big might have up their sleeve. Because if you have some, then the third map of a best of three is when you want to bring them out. I haven't seen any designs yet for a towel, for a Xantares towel. Let's get him some merch. That is true. I, I suggested a pretty good one. Which probably would uh, would please the production ads illegal lot, you know that it's just that quilted Moses head meme towel. That, I think that could be a thing. We will have to see though what the community can come up with. Keep sending us all your tweets hash, uh, at eLeague TV hash eLeague of course on the Twitters and it's the cleanest mouse in Counter Strike. It is. It is. Yeah. Not that one, but that one looks pretty good. Brand new. Nika is, is definitely doing a good job. The color coordination game is on point. We've got to respect that. That scroll man. We've seen some heartbreaking moments with scroll bugs. <laughs> Yeah, so some nerd put a, uh, a script on Reddit yesterday. Was it yesterday? Whenever it was. Yeah. Where when you mouse one, it unbinds jump. And when you release mouse one, it binds jump, which is a, a good way to avoid those mistakes. So look it up if you suffer from such problems. But we are about to start this game, this final game in this series. Big starting on the T side of Inferno. FaZe Clan will be defending first. Yes, who will play Cloud9 in that grand finals? It all comes down to this third and final map. The T side for Big, I feel like that is that's just perfect. It's just perfect to see them here. I feel like they should be stronger on the T side. They should be better on that CT side. We're going to be starting this off with a powerful punch here from Big. The double flash, the Molotov, the double utility already. Oh, that's You hate to be that guy. You get smashed in the face straight away when you take the long range peek. You feel useless for the rest of the round, but it is Nico. Of course, he'll never be useless as he takes a more defensive position with all the mice from these opponents. They got four players towards A, James. An exchange. A man has fallen for either side. Bodies won't be recovered anytime soon. There is more action to be had. Guardian Rain in that short position. Zantares taking one in the face. 
Loads of casket funeral for him. Guardian delivering some nice kills. That's the bomb drop to now as well. That's a lot of information. The information you want. But Tabson's fighting back. Doesn't have the range for a one shot. Rain. Quick reload. Now Tabson's close. Nice avoidance from Rain. That's a good team for the headshot, but Tabson will get it on this occasion. Adren now moving down Banana, but it looks like bigger considering wrapping towards B. Which way do they go? Olofmeister waiting on the A site. They're going back towards top mid. This could be a mistake, but they will be double peeking. Adren's seeing nothing. He's wondering now. He's going back. They just miss each other in mid. Big opportunity, but Olofmeister's position. He's got so much to work with there. And he's going to hear the name throw. He goes for the engagement and Boiler Smooth is ready for that. Okay, now things get quite tough for Adren. He does have the kit, he does have the smoke, but not the Kepler. Gets caught running forwards, takes some damage, and now they know exactly where he is. This is so difficult. Now he just runs. They already know. Why not just go for it? Can he make it happen? No. Tapson shuts him down for the 3k, and Big played this one out very intelligently to get the 1-0. That's the start they wanted on the T side as well. Let's see what they can do with it. FaZe Clan. May have a surprise in store. Rain's gone for a force buy. Nico's gone for a force buy. Here comes Adren as well. Olaf Meister with the scout. Guardian is going to go all the way as well. I did wonder because sometimes you'll see teams have the sniper player not go for the force buy with them. But he's fully invested. He's got the UMP. I mean, that's a big purchase. So you want him involved if you want to win the round. So yes, delivering one straight into the dome of Olaf Meister. Now they know that the force buy is here. Yeah, and, th and this is one of the best maps for it. In fact, maybe the best map for the, for the second round force buy for the CT side. We saw in before this economy update how powerful Astralis were without the <laughs> the extra money, the extra five hundred dollars. Just those smokes, the CZs, the ability to just delay forever. They got the kit as well. But here it is, big up being decisive. They're sending the Mac 10 first. So smart, switching Smear onto that Mac 10 after being weakened by the scout tag, and they've taken control of the B-bomb site. Big did not give FaZe Clan any sound cues there to deliver those smokes. FaZe, I think, had four smoke. I think everybody had a, a smoke grenade when they had four players left, but Big was so deep into the B-bomb site, you saw they had a player on the site when the player in first oranges threw the smoke grenade. So if they were trying to dry them out with time, then they'll need some more practice with that one because that was a complete disaster. Credit to Big for averting that. That's a big target for a CT side who lose a pistol round. Try to put the T's in a awkward situation where time is their enemy. FaZe unable to do that. But they will save three players, so they get a second opportunity at this in the next round where normally it would pretty much just be USPs. So, there's a chance to make some money or make it expensive for Big. Making some money with the uh, UMP, of course, but if it comes from a CZ kill, it's not going to be as great. So we'll see what they can do. Spawns are always helpful as well. Guardian doesn't have the spawn to really do anything crazy with the scouts. So we'll see how big deal with this. They will know how many survives, of course, and they will give it the proper respect. Smoke grenades are back. Only three of them. Initial map control for big. Stopping things from getting <laughs> too out of hand. And Tarez, a good start, but again, we would like to see a good finish from him. Whether they win or lose. Yeah, that scout man is not finding it. Instant takedown. Ouch. Stepping into flames there, Tabson. That's become a common thing as well. People walking into the last tick of a Molotov to try and just be against the timing where you would expect somebody to peek, trying to catch someone by surprise. That's something that's developed in the last few months of play, I would say. Oh, surely the big peak comes out now from Tapson. Finds Olaf Meister. And, you know, you've got to respect the fact that, you know, FaZe was so... Like, they managed to save three players in the end of that last round. And FaZe doing some damage with the help of Nico. They get two kills there. That's that's awesome. They got two kills in the previous round off, off the force by this round as well. Nico's got a Mac 10 now. He might as well try to go for some damage, maybe steal away a gun. They will be buying fully in the following round, so... Big must make sure they don't give anything away. And with two players who are very, very weak... And they can't stand in the pit because the, the bomb is planted on the corner of the site. So no one would survive that apart from maybe Tizian. Perhaps we'll find Nico though. Good stuff. And 3 0 start. Now the CS really begins. We'll get that full buy out of Phase Clan. I can't wait to see what Big will throw at them here and whether or not Phase are going to be really dominant on Banana. Rain dropping the AWP for Guardian. 
Guardian picking up a helmet and some grenades. Now, FaZe Clan are a team on a CT side with the right spawns who are capable of a pop-up play for Guardian top mid on the crate. We've seen Nico, sorry, next to the crate, seen Nico boost him up. We won't see that on this particular occasion, but he's not shy to take this peak from an elevated position. So that might be something we see in some rounds to come. FaZe starting with three players towards B in case there is an early fight for Banana to deploy some grenades as well and leave the players on B with the right grenade for the mid round. And they'll go back to three on A. No one on long for now. Rain and Guardian moving to the site. So they are expectant of something with Tizian showing presence in apartments. Yeah, absolutely. Really, oh, hello. Really passive setup. And harassment like this is really awesome for the T site. But that's a beautiful response. And that will actually allow FaZe to maybe feel confident to go for an info play to see and try and confirm exactly what's happening. But you've got to be so careful. Obviously, a pot flash now and a quick peek would give them a loads of information as to what's going on. You can see Bigger taking top mid at this point. It's really important for the CTs to, as the round gets later and later, assess where the Ts are going. And by seeing what they're doing on top mid, it can often tell you the whole story. Tataras went towards B, showed his presence over there. Now he's come back and Olaf might start again causing issues. Might have expected him to retreat with that Molotov, but no. Guardian wants to defend his short position. Olof Meister needs to help him out, needs to move back now. They've got a crossfire around the site. Olof's position will be very difficult. They will hear his position with the reload. Nico moving to A, he'll be a fourth person there versus the three of Big with 25 seconds looking for an opening that just will not be served. But the quietness makes Nico go back towards the B bomb site. So it turns into a three versus three when Big starts to execute the grenades coming in. Smear avoiding the flashbang, but Olof Meister will take him down. That's three kills for Olof Meister now. Great will force him from his position, but there's nothing Big could do. Seven seconds on the clock, and it will finally get taken out. It was a really great play with rain spraying through the wall into apartments from the site, and then Olaf Mike walking into the peak. I think it was Tizian who was still walking and facing just in case, but great play from FaZe. Paid off very well. They get their first round on the board. And at the same time, too, you know, big... They had an opportunity to say, OK, we're, we're kind of stuck here. There's no easy way in. We've lost one player, we've lost two players. And they could have tried to put pressure on Arch as well, but they just tried to slow push that port position, and it's very difficult to do with no distraction out of Arch. So lose, really losing track of that round there, I think. And see Nico will get smoked off, going aggressive with the AWP, seeing if he can find something. Nothing to be found just yet. So although, as I say that, it looks like he does find Xantaris coming in a little bit late. That's a really big problem. FaZe reliably getting these opening picks now on the CT side with when they have these full buys. Tapson's on a Deagle, Tizzy's on a MAC-10. What is the plan here? They've got no banana control. Switching things up into a banana attack would be really useful, but Nico's sitting there. They could try to go for a flash play, but Nico's actually playing behind the wall, so he would be safe from a flash and could just peek after it. There's a flash. It's a good one, actually. Let's force Nico back. This is what Big must do. They have to try to get Nico out of banana. Quick shot at the wall as he has to concede his position to the flashbang. 50 seconds left and FaZe have minimal information. Guardian in a library position. No eyes top mid, no eyes on Banana. 3-2 sets up. They start to have a look. Adren spots one player. There is a flashbang. You'll hear some footsteps trying to create a wall. And that is successful. 35 seconds. Gambles have to be taken by Big. They've got to push through the smoke. Nico gets the first frag bomb on the front of the site now. Rotation can come in. 29 seconds. Guardian taken down by Tizian, pushing through the smoke, but Rain is on the way as well. He has two, he has a flash, he can flash pull for his teammates to face. Adren coming through, he needs that flashbang, it's not there just yet. Tizian will take out Adren, and Nico's by the coffin. Two plays lining up, Smear now will trade. 13 seconds to plant the bomb, and look how close Rain is. Doesn't need to face, he'll go for the first orange's attempt. Out comes the teammate, Olof Meister through the barrels, and there it is. Another round in the bag for FaZe Clan. They did manage to get some damage there, but that was so awkward. They need to find a way to stop giving up these peaks. You can see that there was a flash for Xantaris to peek with, but it was a, it just didn't work. It was a bad flash for that position. I'm not sure if it was maybe botched, but the story is that Nico got a free kill there. And you can see after that point, it took them over a minute to recover because Nico just stood out there. And whilst Nico was out there, they couldn't feel confident to attack the A bomb site because FaZe, they knew FaZe would have four players there. So you have to get that. That's why the banana control is so important. So I would imagine that we'll start to see Big focusing more on that. Not, but if, if you let Nico just stand there, it's just not going to be a good time.
money making round for FaZe. Just waiting out big, who are waiting out some grenades for the most part. The usual stuff. Make it as expensive as possible with what little you have. Tizian's got two flashes and a Molotov to deploy. So will it be a balcony burst? Just waiting big. Any grenades? Face clan need not seek information. They've got banana smoked off. And Adren will leave Nico in situ with the AWP on an eco. Moving towards a speedway position. Big trying to just dry out the utility of FaZe Clan. No need to do anything hasty. And you see the grenades, the grenades are continuing. So they're getting what they want in that respect. Now where are these flashes going? Oh, hello. Do some damage, but can't seem to find the frag, unfortunately. No needs to follow that up with. Oh, that's not bad. One kill at least. That's something in an otherwise hopeless round. Some nice B hop there from Guardian. 3 3, though, all tied up. Since Space got those rifles in hand, it's been very slow from the rounds. And. Pretty reliably, FaZe are getting that opening pick, and that's part of the reason, because after that point, Big have to slow it down. That tends to be Inferno as well. You need to get top mids, you need to get banana control, and then at that point, it becomes very hard for the CTs. They have to retake top mid or retake top banana at some point. But Big have not even been able to get to that point. And here goes a very fast attack towards banana. There's a missed shot. A trend to cover, though. He's been good at support on that B-bomb site. The remainder of Big towards the A site. Apartments needs to be cleared out. Gobby has been taken out towards the bench position in mid. And Guardian is on short now. Rain towards long. Changing the position of the AWP. It's a very timely Molotov. And they might get some sound cues if it touches anyone. Big tag Tizian. There's often somebody lurking in the apartments. Two Deagles and Zantaros with the AK-47. Waiting for an opening. Three versus five. Passive angles on B. Santaras is gone. The AK is gone. Taps in 7 HP. Up close and personal. Tizian down to 4. They'll get a kill out of it. That's 6k gone. And now it's time to buy. Very nice stuff there from FaZe. Really look, just looking rock solid at the moment. But here comes the buy from Big. Interestingly, Santaras on a Mac 10. Surely you would want to swap him out. Someone would want to swap him out for an AK-47. Because we would expect that with that MAC-10, he's going to be the first guy to die. Okay, there it is. Gobby will take the he'll take the L there, pick up the MAC-10, gives Antares that AK-47. And indeed, the MAC-10's job is to create some space by taking position, being that first guy in, jump around the corners, jump through the smokes, be the guy pop flash in, and then you get traded with someone who has an AK. Gobby swapped guns just before the post button was clicked on Reddit. <laughs> Uh, here goes the banana take. They must be able to take banana away from from phase. This is this seems to be a very big issue so far. And here it goes. The respawn timing is perfect. There's a molly behind that smoke as well. And Dren blind behind the sandbags. Good flashbangs from Big. Got behind the jumping peak. See what's going on. Bounce off the wall from the site. Gives the clues and he will continue forward. More flashes from his teammates. Out he goes. Wide. No one first. Second oranges. But there's a gap in the smoke. That's a problem. But Gobby has got the site. And there's the re-smoke. Guardian smoked off now. Holding his angle, waiting for a timing, maybe playing with the sound. Taps in crossing, what? perfect from Guardian. He waited. Now the smoke is cleared. If he held his nerve there. Oh, he sees him anyway. What is he doing, Guardian? Smooth is the only person left now. One versus three. He's got to find something before they get in, in, in before they get into position to trade frag. Very good side for this all post plant, but three players. It's so hard. The nays start to be thrown in. That will really hurt his ability to have any good positions. They'll know where he is likely. Guess one catch. Another one, surely, but no. No time, even if he got that. The trade was there from Rain. It's just not the right weapon for the job, and it's going to be the defuse there. Guardian, some disgusting stuff there. As you mentioned, just tracking through the smoke, just hearing those sounds. His senses are so finely tuned. And that's another round for face, but what an opportunity from me. Got be played so well. That is so sick. Concentrating on the sounds, that comes with experience. 
Goes back to the well again and again. Yanko, very happy with that. Touch my fist, damn it. 5-3 in favor of FaZe Clan. Both teams on the bike. Two AWPs for FaZe. Nico picking up the second one. Guardian looking down mid. AKs and Galil for Big. Deep smoke stamp banana this time. So Big will have more issues, it seems, in this round. Nico's got some nice pop flashes that he uh, does with both mouse buttons. Dren getting aggressive. He knows Yanko's got one free check. He's got a Molotov. We would expect a second player. What a clear out from them. Like just helping somebody move house. All the boxes are gone. Tabson and Tizian remain. Pop flash. Nico has a look. He can break the half wall if he wants to, and he'll do that and back off. Although maybe a tad too slow, so Tabson goes straight through it. But help is on the way. Rain rotating to CT. And he has that pop flash for the pool. And Big are getting bullied so hard at the moment. There's a smoke, they just have to go with this. Orps all over the place here. Nico on the bomb site. Guardian also with an AWP. Yes, Guardian is playing A, but two rifles to worry about towards CT. Are they gonna go for a run boost? Ooh, oh no, they botch it. Awkward stuff, so awkward. At least that's not the AWP. Nice shot coming in from Taps, and he's got to go absolutely massive here. They don't know about Nico. Tizian goes down, and so does Taps, and Nico's good. Lovely stuff from him. FaZe are so dominant. This push, look at it. They are bullying Big so hard on Banana. Yeah, that's causing them colossal casualties, Big. Despite being gifted the odd AK-47, Zantara is currently 147. He has been well and truly neutralized in the first nine rounds of this last map in this series. Again, the winner going on to play Cloud9. Guardian 10 for four at the moment. AWP is working well for FaZe on their CT half. Tactical timeout from Big at the moment. How do we turn these, this around? At what time do we... Do we just concede Banana? Do we give them what they want? Do we continue to fight for it? Is it worth it? Yeah, it's been so tough so far for Big. So one thing we've not really been able to see is them being able to take Banana, then take top mage. That, like, that's typically how the default might work out. And then maybe just threaten uh, an, an A split when actually they're doubling back to B or vice versa. Like That's like the typical way the defaults end up developing usually on this map and if I've been unable to really set up for A splits or fakes in that way. FaZe have been so dominant on the map control that it has prevented that for them even having to worry about that. They've always been in advantage and it's pistols here for big and they're looking to just get get this A bomb side. Maybe they'll have more fortune this time. Denial of information for FaZe Clan. It's like spam in your inbox. Rain in the pit. All of mice on the site. Guardian around a library position. Big waiting out the grenades, but again, they've got no one to stop a flank from B. They've got to be careful. And they start to move in. All of the mice are jumping up. Good for one. Maybe two. Three pistols remain. They're getting close, but they're not getting any frags out of this. All of mice are holding it down with the M4A4. Insta trade from Rain. Minimal damage done. Just one man lost. Seven to three. Happy days for FaZe. Yeah, looking very good right now. But again, it's partly just because they're playing these fundamentals around map control really well, and it feels as though Big have not been unable to, to like again, like push Nico back. They've been unable to push the A defense back when FaZe want to play a bit further forwards. It's just FaZe, and FaZe seemingly in each round, it, it's, it's just more about them deciding that they'll give up some space as opposed to it being forced on them. So we'll need to see that change here from Big, and so we're just going to try to punish any aggressive AWP positions Quite rare that you'll see an AWP go there into that angle, but you want to check for it every so often. Oh, we get it late on the boost. This is also very strong. Hits Smuya as well through the side of the wall. Smuya, very fortunate to be alive. That's what I was talking about earlier. The pop-up Guardian comes out every now and then. Now, the question for Big is how do they activate Santares? He is the star of the show. He is the pony with the beautiful hair. Rumor has it he's a unicorn. But how do they get him into the game? Moving up mid with his teammates currently is Zantares. Only one kill so far in these 10 rounds. And once again, they're, they're, they're having this level of success. They're pushing the CTs away from top mid. 
the Vase Clan have no information towards Banana, although I think they might be going for a flash play there. But um, they can't really have much more success than this. Indeed, Adren knows no one is top banana. Guardian's starting to rotate now. Big don't start to go fast. It's got to get worse for them. Gobby has been exploderized. They've smoked up to short position. Tabs him behind the wagon, trying to find his way across. Nico in that smoke on the site. This is so awkward. The rotation is starting to spill in from phase. They're looking very strong here. I'm not sure how big are going to break this bomb site with so much support coming in. There is some tagging through the smokes here, waiting for those to dissipate. 20 seconds to go for the bomb part. Nice spam through the smoke. Tabs and picks off Nico. Still, though, rain in the corner of the bomb site. Will they realize this? Bomb starting to be planted. Rain can't quite get to them. So they may be able to actually formulate a strong post plant setup. And in fact, now it looks quite good. There is a smoke and a flash on a drone, but that's it for utility. And Smuya has got his angle. But Rain, he can dismantle this. If he goes for the peak, there's Smuya dead. That's going to unlock Adren. And now they start to push for his own Guardian, absolutely annihilating everyone, including his teammates. Now he's alone. A one versus two. Guardian trying to do what he can. Deagle comes out, but these post plant positions are so strong. Has to force the smoke tap there, and they will go for the double peak. Guardian is just in an impossible situation. A quick reload of the AWP, and it simply doesn't look like it's going to happen. Zantaris will take him out. Oh, that was a tough one, but big do it. That has to be so frustrating for FaZe. While all the action was happening on the A-bomb site, they had the pop <laughs> flash play, Adren went top banana, they saw that nobody was there, Guardian rotated, they had four on A, and when they knew no one was B, they put the delay tactics, we got bananas all over the place. We got intercontinental bananas maybe, but while they had the information towards B, they put the delay tactics down, they trapped Big for so long around those smokes, they knew they couldn't plant the bomb because it's such an easy spray if you try and plant default in those smokes. Some, some CTs dropped the smoke there as a bait, and they still win the round big. That's insane. Yeah, very awesome stuff from them. Ooh, forcing Nico back, tags him. The fire doing damage as well. Adren, though, set up high to try to defend as they try to go further forward, which they have shown that they like to do. Ooh, that's going to be so careful. Adren very blind falls off the first oranges. How much can he get done? That's the bomb. They can call the rotation now as Nico defends as well. Brilliant defense coming in here. I think they may have done enough. The bomb is in no man's land. Everybody in smokes, flashes, blind one way or another. Smoke inhalation is through the roof. Four versus three now. Tabson takes control of construction for the time being. We've still got a fight towards the A side. He's going to start rotating. Tabson taken out now. Do the CTs know that the bomb is done? I'm not quite sure considering the position. One minute left. Two versus four. Smuya with Tizian right here. More smokes down. So much utility on the B bombs are elevated. Adren spots him. Nico saves him. Smear now, alone, one versus two, but Olof Meister slowly creeping up Banana to make things worse. We are not sure where to look. Double peak from Banana and new box. And Smear's left in the pool to drown. FaZe are just showing how much class they have here. Just like this foot, this defense that just falls back, so many layers to it. Even though, eff effectively, the pacing from Big is pretty damn good. They're putting FaZe in awkward spots. Again, Adren has the right reaction. Nico has the right reaction. They're supporting each other as they fall back and fall back. Even though the pressure is so high and intense from Big, they're just showing that they have these other gears to go to that Big cannot match at this point. And we'll see if that changes. But for now, this first half is looking very good for FaZe. Big really do need another couple rounds to feel comfortable about this. Pistols again for them. A lot of money spent here from uh, Smear and Zantaris and Tizian. Nice to see FaZe changing their makeup on the CT side, of course. Staying longer in B for three players. And now it seems Adren will rotate while Guardian will hold position. Pistols are big, a few grenades. Got to get more rounds out of this. Got the numbers towards Arch. The bombs have been dropped though. Rain doing some damage, dropping the HE too far. They're closer than he thinks, but of course he has support. Luffmeister there. Now Guardian's top mid. The Raptor B is possible. Big need to decide what to do. They're all together, standing around the tiny plinth. Moving to CT. No sprays, mate. They've got bigger fish to fry. Going past the well. Nico in new box. Sees a grenade, can raise the alarm. One shot straight in the face. Spots both players, another kill for him. Now he can try to buy some time. Smoke at the front of the site. Does he stay, does he go? That's a question for Tizian, who's trapped in the construction position. He is being surrounded, the net is closing. This is the last episode of The Wire, and we find out the story for Tizian now. 
As here come the Popo. Back on the car, please, and thank you. So big going for that kind of strange half by there. Has got to be around four thousand dollars. Everyone else around two k though. Money not together. Really nice defense from Nico. Even though he's on the site, if you, if you looked at the minimap, you're thinking, oh, three versus one. But then you see that he's an AWP and he's at the back of the site, and there's just like no way to stop that. And so now, big, they're in this like really weird spot. I'm not sure if if, if that buy in the previous round, James, like if that made complete sense from them. We had three players going down to about five hundred dollars and two staying around three thousand. Or 2,000. And now Big just don't have money. They just don't have any money to do much here. Where's the, where's the TV at? <laughs> it's a cute dog, but where's the TV? Where's the E-League? That is <laughs> it's just an excuse, isn't it, James? Just to get the, the dog on the screen. There was, a, there was an early series where um, someone took a picture of two pugs climbing a wall to the TV while we were on it, which is kind of oh, cool. Oh, yeah, 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 Good times. But anyway, two rounds remain. Big need to get more out of this, but this is a rough round as we can see. A Mac 10 and a bunch of pistols, a lot of smoke grenades. We've seen so many smoke grenades in the variance of causes, but it has favored FaZe Clan. Oh, God, he's missing a shot, taking licks from that Mac 10, followed up by Smuya. That's an AWP to be collected. They don't know if anybody else is top mid. No one else is top mid. They better get that AWP soon. Perfect start. Get that like very quick kill. And you can see the reaction from the CTs. Three players as passive as you can possibly ask on that A bomb site. That means that they don't have information as to what the T's are doing now. Adren, who's alone on the B bomb site, he's playing very very passive on B as well. So there's just there's nowhere where they have information, which is why at this point we're seeing a top mid push from Nico and Rain. They just push out from our side, look to see if they can find some info. Still smokes down though. So they still don't quite know for sure what's happening. But they're trying to adjust. They're trying to guess. Rain will rotate. And Santaris will pressure. And how will they read this? Base plan. It's a good start around the side of the smoke. Adren has been solid here. Before the round, Yanko's comments ended with peak and kill the ball to Adren. Rain trying to steal the glory. He's got the bomb at his feet. Stand on it if he wants to. Stuck in the corner now, the last two players of big. Minimal success despite picking up his AWP. See the frustration for Smuya, nothing doing. And with his team able to buy, he's got enough to buy armor in the following round, so he can try to save this AWP. No reason for him to run to his move. Ooh, close on that one. 10 rounds for FaZe Clan. Will four be enough for big in the second half? Pressure's got to be mounting, becoming more reliant on the pistol round as each round goes by. And big one, the pistol round. This has been 10 rounds from 11 for yep. FaZe Clan. Yeah, it, it's, it's, very, it's a weird inferno to watch because they've just struggled so much with map control. And usually it's the case that it's, that's like the problem that the CTs will have. And you'll have to like gamble stack and, and like make these, these info plays and pop flash plays and retake positions. But it's already been the case for FaZe. In fact, look at this now. It's charging down middle, Olaf Meister first with the AK-47. This is a way to finish off a round with a bang, and we'll see if uh, there's a good response here from Big. There it is. Reigns gets the first kill. The pressure coming from Top Banana as well. Reigns got two kills now, and they're lining up for Nico. He'll go down, but Adren's waiting as well. And he's going to finish it off. Great peak for the triple. 11 of 4. A seamless half from Face. There it is. Peak and killed them all, and he did exactly that, Adren. Zantaros finishes the half 3 for 12. Got B, three for 14. Big seem to be struggling in this tournament so far to have everybody delivering. And they need, they need to fight on all cylinders, but it seems some have gone missing. You can see the frustration for Zantares. Now they're on the CT side. And again, I, I feel like it's been a familiar story where the CT sides have sometimes been more comfortable. Maybe they will be now. We've got a lot of studying and ED going on. I respect it. I respect yeah, it. Yeah. Needs to get a tally of how many people failed. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> one, one person tweets me and says, yeah, I'm going to fail, man. But the E-League's awesome, so it's worth it. And that's, you know, I agree with that. <laughs> no quick on that, though. No, no, no loss of release. Santoros with 19 ADR. That's, that's going to stand out like a sore thumb. A sore... Everything. Everything is sore. 
It's where everything it doesn't sound good, Dan. It doesn't sound good. I've I mean, a doctor. It's, I mean, it's like you said. You know, they've been struggling so hard to get Zantaris into position. Again, it just it just tells you the story. It's it's less about the overall performance of the players, and it's more about the fact that as a team they've been unable to actually just take map control from 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 their opponents on the T side. That's a, that's a pretty bad side. They're gonna have to have a perfect CT side now, James. I we've seen it happen. They get a scoreline like this, and then it flips. But I don't think FaZe are going to let that happen. Nico's rebooting his PC so he can install some emojis. So it'll be a minute or two before we get back into the game. But what a start for FaZe Clan in this third. Third and final game of this series. Yeah, it's not a bad view at all. This is an amazing studio. It always has been. It's, yeah, it's, you just like any, <laughs> you take, take a picture from any angle. Yeah, there's, no, there's no bad angle. Unless you're pointing at Dan. <laughs> 11 to 4 for FaZe Clan. Is there a way back into this for Big? About to find out. There's always a way back in in Counter Strike, James. Not over till it's over, but it definitely looks like they are somewhat deflated. They really struggle to find answers on that first half. But the CT side is a very different story. It's a very different story indeed. Yeah, the problem is when you're starting the CT side with only four rounds, again, you look at the margin for error. Face clan went around here or there, and it could have devastating effects. There's, there's no more. There are no more maps to play. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my. How okay, are you gonna well, How are you gonna do that, man? The, the police are on the way. <laughs> Her game's on point, but that's like. I mean, she looks like she's got the strength to just to just lift it, just rip up the cage. Damn, it's Royal Rumble, not Hell in a Cell weekend. Jesus Christ. Hell in a Cell. How are you gonna put your grandma in a cage, man? <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna do that? I wouldn't even do that. Hashtag role model. Not quite. Jeez. Aspirations. Could put it on the Tinder profile as a second picture. I want to put my grandmother in a cage. <laughs> oh my God. Early warning system. <laughs> Red flags and all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. These uh, I, I do have been enjoying the amount of meme image we've been having as well coming through the social medias. There's still time. We've got many hours left of, of content, of Counter-Strike content today. We've still got the finals to play. And this, this game is not over just yet either. Just only one half in. Yeah. Get your memes in. It's really, I'm really curious as to where this one's going to go. So much pressure on big. But we've seen, I think we've seen both these teams survive pressure so far in this tournament. Otherwise, they wouldn't have got this far. We've seen so many tight games, some comebacks, crazy performances, some, some underwhelming instances, some missed shots. So it could really still go either way. Nico is back on the server, so I'm sure we will be soon into liftoff. Yeah, 16-14 has been sort of the, the order of this tournament. When Big and FaZe and Cloud9 play each other. All right, we've got the, uh, the big coach rallying the troops. Yanko need not do the same. So many advantages for FaZe. We're about to get into this game of Inferno. You guys ready for the last map? Cloud9 around the corner in the green room, in the bathrobes, the tank tops, the Lycra. You know, if you fancy that, not my style. Phase plan that we'll have a Dren with grenades as well as Guardian. No P250s, all Glocks. As I say, that Nico gets dropped to P250. He will be the raid boss for the T side in this round. Got B with some grenades of his own. No defuse kit for the CTs. Yeah, Tizian with the jump peak that for info, he spotted the bomb, which is always a big deal. Big taking a line of defense on the A side that's very passive. No info whatsoever right now for Big, apart from that initial jump peak, but much time has passed. Have to see whether or not they can get some more info. You can see Smee is looking for it, going a bit deeper now. And Faye is looking to explode on that B bomb site. They've got Rain still on the A side of the map, so he could try to run some shenanigans towards middle. And here goes the smoke for CT. Or maybe not. Adrian wants to throw it. This is going to be a tough hold. It's going to be down to Xantaris and Tabson. Who else would you want on that B bomb site, James, right now? People who are going to get some frags. Hasn't been the case in the first half. I would love to see a turnaround. I want to see a competitive half here. Here come the numbers game. The best thing to view on the T side is the sheer numbers, overwhelming a position. Santares on his lonesome on the site has a tight angle, but he takes one in the face. Lovely jiggle peek. 
FaZe Clan looking good. Man advantage. Gobby trying to hold on to construction. Looking for some pre-fire shots. As you can see, they know the bullets are low. Rain jumping. Olaf Meister getting the kill. Nice teamwork there. Three versus two, though. Still doable. Samuya rotating as Tizian moves through. But how does he not get straight frags? Can he get both frags? Running out of bullets. One versus two, though. It's made. It's been made doable for Samuya. But again, there's no diffuse kit in this round. He's got to move fast. He's got to find these players fast. They can dance around Nico. Moving towards the full position. Forcing Samuya into a crossfire. Takes one into the back of the head. That's a massive round for FaZe Clan. Yeah, FaZe looks so strong at the moment. And big. They just look out of it at, at this point. They need to find something. But as you mentioned, so much pressure on them winning that pistol round. They lose it. Now the force buys really, really strong. We 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 commented on that previous in the previous half when uh, Phase went for it. Super strong on this map on the CT side. The best map to get the second round force buy in. And we'll see even an MP9 for Tizian as he got some extra kills, as well as utility and a Kevlar. It's kind of crazy what you can do with that new economy, nineteen hundred dollars. And. Deagle there for Tabson. Can he start things off on a positive note for his team? Trying to time the HE is pretty good. My goodness. That's 55 damage there on Guardian. That's not bad. And the name of the game as well as for Big is to hold on to the smokes for as long as possible and shut down the choke points. Really make phase panic. 257s, very, very dangerous. At close range. Four smoke grenades are big. Reholding on the minute mark. Surely it's time to drop on somewhere. Footsteps being heard. Smear starting to fall back, but he's conceded position. Looking to smoke off from the library, perhaps, but can he get it fast enough? He can. Will they go through it? Tizian's on the other side. And he's gonna get pop flash through, and this is how it starts. He knows there's one more player there. Ooh, he could have gone down. He's got to be careful. And Torres through the smoke. The bomb's down. The trade's there for Smuya. And maybe he can collect a weapon in the meantime. Copy running out of bullets for the CZ. Sprayed from all of mine. So got to be careful, though. Two players to be found. There's the first one. One more in graveyard position. Still a man advantage for Big. Two players surrounding the bomb. Trade fact situation. Olaf Meister heard reloading, but can't really be punished. A dread creeping. He's been spotted, swatted. That leaves Olaf Meister alone. 25 seconds to find three people. A flash. Still hiding in the smoke is Tizian. With the MP9, there he goes. But 17 seconds now, Olaf Meister has to run. He has to win by elimination. He's got to find both <laughs> players. What a tight shot from Tabson. Big had to win that round. That is colossal for them. That gives them opportunity, gives them chance. Yeah, that's really well played. I love how Smuya fell back from Arch. Got that swing through to library for that, that smoke onto Moto. And then the flashbangs coming through, really just setting up that trap for FaZe and then springing it with the MP9 from Tizian. I just love that. That was so cool to see. And it does give them a chance. But the force by is uh, coming back in from phase. With lots of utility, lots of firepower behind it. They're going to move fast. Numbers moving up Banana, trying to avoid the grenades. Are oh, there smokes to the Molotovs? I think they might be. Not working, not working out, but a trade will. Gobby falling to the flames. Taps into it. They might think it's empty, but it's not. And he will clear up the M4A4, the extra bullets. Very useful indeed. The flashbang, the one dig. That leaves Nico alone versus three. Tap, that was a close one for Tapson. No time to reload that, but the flashes keep on coming. Down to 11 HP now. They can swap positions. Allow Smear to go first. They can smoke off, calm down the situation, slow things down. But Nico's found an AK-47. That's a pretty bad situation for Big, even in a one versus three. Yeah, especially considering how much time he has. But they have two more smokes. You just have to take it easy. And will he flick? Get the flick in? No, not in time. Nice position on Tizian. He'll take down Nico, upgrade to the AK. I was actually quite afraid there because Tapson, you know, the Deagle for the first kill, it makes a lot of sense. But then he just keeps going for repeats. He's got 13 HP. I'm like, Tapson, gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta chill out, man. <laughs> gotta chill out. But eventually it does work out for Big. They'll survive with three. And that is going to force FaZe to take a full eco. So right now, this is Big have uh, created this scenario where they can set up their economy for future rounds. But they must lose zero players on this one. They have every, every chance to do so. Only four clocks and a single Deagle and flashbang. That's it for FaZe. They shouldn't, Big should not be losing players in this round. It's so important to keep FaZe off that 13th round as well. Even though it, it, on paper it's only one round more, I think it has really big implications when you are so far behind. And now they have more margin for error as they climb back up the mountain. Trying to push off the other climbers. That's the Xantaros we want to see, but not just in anti-eco rounds. 
Yeah, it's quite a scary combo. You've got both Xantaris and Tabson on that, like, on Banana, basically. And, and I can understand why. Very nice from Spia. Making that bank, which is perfect. He's the guy who's going to be buying up those AWPs. Oh, there you go. Oh, family affair. That's nice. Friends around a table. It's a very small table, though. Why is the table so small? Can I suggest a larger table, please? Or at least, like, get another table, connect them. You need more space. You couldn't even get a Scrabble board on that table. I'm very disappointed in the table. The chair is bigger than the table. Big now. Five rounds behind. All of my son, the UMP. Less than ideal. God, you're not observing the flames. Samir was having a look, but he has moved back to the short position. So what is the play from FaZe? Big have control of Banana. They've got a smoke at the bottom. So for now, FaZe can keep an eye. Well, try to clear out the apartments. All of Meister and Adren and Rain and Nico all in the apps. But some are moving back. Now the initial grenades have gone for Big. They, with the time on the clock, can go back towards Banana. Try to force them away. No one top mid now for Big. So they have limited information. Now the quest is to limit information towards B and then take a decision. So you're just watching for that peak. You never know which side the upper might be on, so that's why one of the reasons why that can be so strong. The county utility there coming in as well. So top mid take is there. And FaZe are already finding this looking more normal from a T side perspective than how big's T sides were working. And this this smoke you do want to try to flash through it, just force the big player back. One flash can do it, honestly. As it, usually in this setup, the Tabson falls back to the site, and then the guy who's floating around Arch, Xantaris, he rotates back. But it goes to the engagement, but he's alone on the bomb site. And that might just ruin everything because there's already a CT smoke. How does Xantaris stop this? He just goes for the spray. Tabson, I think he's been over aggressive there. That bomb site's now gone. This might be a safe situation for Big. Xantaris, though, has got construction, so it's down to him to open something up because if, he's, if he stays here too long and doesn't get anything and Big go too deep and lose everything, then that would be a complete disaster. The re-smoke. Smear is still in arch, so they have some space to fall back if that's what they choose to do. Again, waiting for an opening, not running into the site. Tizian starting to move back now, and Xantara is doing the same. That was a, a really cool round from FaZe. As, as like in the early stages of it, I said they'll probably start to clear out Banana. But what they chose to do instead is leave Big with that information, making the likelihood that they'll put four people towards A because they don't have any vision top mid. And then they put a, a smoke down towards Arch, maybe to suggest they're going to go for a push towards Short. And then they, before they even push Banana, they smoke CT because they're planning to rush all the way, expecting a likelihood of only one person being towards Banana. And that's exactly what happened. The thing is there, though, again, because we see this, this repeat from, from uh, Tabson, if he's able to get onto the side drop, I don't know if he has a smoke there. I mean, usually you sh that, that player is supposed to have a smoke if you're going to make that play, so that if that happens, your flashback, you just smoke immediately. That buys time for Xantaris to get onto the site. Maybe get a crossfire, maybe get some kills. Retake becomes possible, but you can go for that play, but it's just super high risk. We'll see if that ends up hurting them. Maybe they can reset phase clan here. Double ops coming in, taps in on one, on for B. Spear still working A with his. So big still a very strong arsenal to bring into this round. And we see FaZe Clan putting huge emphasis early round. Huge emphasis on apartments control and likely top mid control as well. Giving up Banana and already Big realize it. They're cheating a player across, but it may be too late. Here goes the push. So quick here. I don't think anyone expected that except FaZe and Big. They're ready. The reload of Gobby would have been heard, but it would have been a risk for Nico to go all the way and do something about it. What an answer from Big, wiping everybody up, surviving with four players after they saved in the previous round with three. Nice work from them. The bro fists are out. If aliens came down one day and just ended up in a Counter-Strike tournament, they might think we communicate with fists. <laughs> you communicate with fists. And bananas, apparently, as well. Whatever, you know, whatever objects you can find, it just depends on the situation. <laughs> Tactical timeout has been called by FaZe Clan, five rounds away from their opponent. The money is floating around 4,4200 average. Decisions need to be made. Indeed. It's quite cool to see that from FaZe because when you, when you play around like that, 
if you if you have the the information that the CTs are playing two or three on Banana for an aggressive start of the round, you can hit a very scary timing on the A side. Big were just playing a default setup though, so then they were able to defend with that. But see Tapson getting in there with a lot of damage. High ADR for him. And uh, this this seems like it should be the part of the match now, James, where we start to see Big finally finding that groove again. Money starts to build for them. The double orbs are in as well. And they have three on B to start this round off, obviously fearing that, that rush timing from the pistols. I think at big tournaments, we should have a consensus on which weapon players have equipped. Like Tech 9, Silence Them 4, so on. Just out of curiosity, Smear puncturing holes and Tizian Tim with support. I think it's even more support is needed. A spray. Nice. Limiting the damage. Olof Meister has been spotted back at the milk carton. Moving towards the balcony. Again, just trying to get anything out of this. Santara's and Tizian could be one tap. Smear communicating back with his P250. The double peak being lined up. There's the push. And Olof's face is mush. Four rounds now. Big on the cusp of double figures. Very nice here from Smear. This is very good to see. He's getting going with that AWP. And again, the money's, money's in like a pretty good place now for Big. But FaZe, I do wonder if they'll run the default and see what happens at B again, just because B has been quite successful. And Tabson seemingly wants to fight, although he's on the AWP now, which which I think is much more... inspires me with a lot more confidence here for Big. Ooh, that's a close one. Smear is so close to going down. Tabson as well, taking huge damage, going for the peaks here. Of course, Banana doesn't look like he's done either. And HE comes in, that's going to be very, very problematic. How on... how the hell did he survive that? Santara's man, he just jumped in front of it, took all the shrapnel. And now they're both in the red. And there goes Tabson. It's amazing Big R are still in this, considering yeah. 517 for Gobby, 7 to 15 for Xantarez. Man like Xantarez needs to go huge on the CT side. But they're still in this round. They still have a fair chunk of map control. They've got two plays towards B, so Smear and Gobby are going to have to do a lot towards the A bomb site should phase come their way. But the bomb is starting to move towards Banana. There's a lot of time on the clock, all things considered, for FaZe Clan. And they have everybody intact. Only three flashbangs, however. And there are still two smokes, three smokes. So Big could delay towards the B bomb site. With a time on the clock, that could be the biggest issue here. Will there be a flashbang here? Surely there must be. Oh, Santaras misses his shot. Do they expect one more? Probably not, but they still... Oh, the half check. He knows he can just wait. Oh, God, and he's waiting there. The last man in to check it. I can't believe it. Tish is going to feel absolutely robbed. That could have been it. I can't believe Guardian, the last man, James. That never happens. That's awesome. The last man, that never happens. Tizian had a smoke as well, but, but being by the sandbags, he had no position in which to throw it. But while his teammate was holding an angle, I wonder at what point he would have thrown a flash because 37 seconds left. Sorry, a smoke, not a flash. More problems can be caused with it. So there were opportunities there, but the element of surprise, the numbers for FaZe Clan have put them on 14 rounds. There is money to buy around what has been saved for Big Clan. But what a play from Guardian. He may have seen a gun poking out. You can't blame, you can't blame him for, for readying his spray, looking to get three plays. He must have been salivating. I can't believe it. That, that was, that's such an important kill. I, th I mean, I think if he doesn't check that. I think Tijin gets so many. Oh, he's taking the gun. That's so nuts. He gets the headshot as well. I think Tizian fired one bullet. He's like, I'm so ready for this. Have you ever like salivated for some piece of food and then it's just been taken away? Because that's what happened, basically. Once we were in the Bahamas and I put my plate down and a seagull came and stole my chicken. <laughs> it was similar to that. That's, that really actually happened. 14 to 9, a tactical timeout from Big. Again, they have money to build something, but that could have gone so many different ways, and I think most of them would have favoured Big. 
Yeah, one thing that, that has been pretty apparent for Big, like if we look at the start of that round, it feels like we have, it's, it's important to be aggressive on Banana, but it feels like they're doing it in ways which are pretty exploitable. We see like these re-peaks into smoke where the, the T's can pretty safely spray at range with AKs and you wish giving up that frag trying to get that pot shot when you have the control of the position and utility still. So those risks have just not paid off in Banana whatsoever so far for Big. Phaser are just, just trying to play a solid game. Get a deep smoke once more. It's good because here is some of the spam from Guardian. And we'll see if the lesson is done. They've actually mixed up the positions a bit. Ooh, going deep for that damage. And again, giving up the first frag, James. On the CT side of Inferno, you just don't want that ever to be the case. Yeah, this is just getting more and more difficult for Big. There is another buy in the hole. Won't be the best one, but it will be a buy if they to lose this round but now a man down so early i was going to say how do you get back into this one but apparently you don't it's me you're taken out in apartments that's a huge win for phase clan starting to speed up now moving towards a short position olaf meister collecting the bomb moving through second mid in the meantime time to clear out gobby's gonna go huge here zantara's finally coming through gobby with multi frags looking for the player on the balcony as well finally this is so important for big two versus one a huge defense but it's not over yet they don't know where olaf meister is he has the element of surprise. The bomb was so far back, he could be anywhere. He also has a good amount of utility and incendiary smoke. Looks like he's going to walk all the way back to B. Eventually, you'd imagine that Tabson will rotate there through CT, but the question is whether it'll be fast, and fast enough. And Olaf Meister can try to go for that first oranges plant so that he doesn't have to run across too much. And there's actually just the smoke just to be so sure of it. Gives it away just before the plant goes down, but that's okay. Well, if Mice are looking for this clutch, this would absolutely break the back of Big in this series. And a very critical clutch here for Olaf Meister. What can he find going back towards Banana? And now it's down to Gobby and Tabson to figure out exactly where he is. Oh, the smoke is perfect. Molly for the bomb, but there's so much time. They both have kits as well. It will concede his position. Can he do anything else? He's holding it for as long as possible. He's waiting for the beeps. There goes the molly. Reposition this doesn't get sprayed down. He's got to believe in the molly, but the defuser's coming in. Oh my god! Oh, they've done it! I thought he was dead! I mean, he is dead, but they've defused the bomb. That had to be... I don't even know. That is unbelievable. You always believe when it's all of my stuff. I thought he had it as well. <laughs> so incredibly close. Oh, oh my god. goodness. The green. Oh, oh so god. close. That is crazy. To just hold it as well in the flames like that, uh, that's it's intense. Gobby keeping his nerve. I can't there's a release. There's a release from the coach, but they know that their work is not done yet, Big. That was an expensive round. Again, they could buy. They've got some extra money because they won the round, of course. But um, Fates Clan are still in a strong position. A four-round lead. More pressure for Big. This is an intense match. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. I, they've been Big have been fighting uphill the entire time. Honestly, they look like the worst Inferno team for sure at the moment, but they're still in this. Counter Strike is all about the clutches after all. And if Big can keep getting, or rather, if Phase Clan can unable to get this bomb plant, it'll be a problem. But look at this Guardian is so fast on the timing. They didn't expect that, and he somehow escapes with 86 health. Barely touched despite all the nays coming in. Another round where Big give up the first kill. This time, you it's hard to blame them. Guardian had a ridiculous timing, and he is so smooth. Every round seems to be the hard way for Big. So many early picks for FaZe Clan. So much time to play with afterwards. Just increases, compounds the guessing game for Big. Holding angles top mid for now. They, in Zantares, they trust towards the B bomb site, but he's got the AWP, not his signature M4A4 or an AK-47. And Faith Clan, they can smell the desperation. They know Big have to do something, so they wait. I think that all Faith have to do is throw one flash to Banana and Zantares drops the smoke and falls into the site. Speaking of which, we get a flashbang there for Smu to check apps. Got to be so careful two players on either side. Guardian does take a shot from Zantaris towards Banana as they push him, and there's the smoke. That's actually pretty huge. That smoke's not going to go away until 20 seconds is on the clock. 
So where do FaZe go? The, the time is running out here. They're going to go back towards A. And there's only one player on the site at the moment, but the time is a huge issue. Tizian's in no man's land. He doesn't know where to go. He's going back towards B, towards A, but ultimately he's in CT spawn. Smear versus Lord of an AWP. How does he avoid getting traded in here? He hits the first shot, but it's not a kill. It's in the red. Doesn't hit the second one. He gets the third one, though. And here comes the support. Finally, Tizian's here. Only good for the one frag. Smear does as much as he can. 10 seconds to plant the bomb. Do they push through the smoke? Do they gamble? Do they make the play? They do. Gobby looking, but he can't find. That's that hurry. It's not high ground. And there's the trade for FaZe. Match point, FaZe. Perfect spot to go for the bomb plant. Big diving through that smoke, trying desperately to find him. You can see him looking on the bomb site, where is he? But they could not see him. Covered by that box and Smooya, oh my god. They came in in the nick of time to try to save him, but it still wasn't enough in the end. What an intense finale to this round as they look for that guy on the site. You can see what it means to Nico. One round away now as the money is absolutely crippled for Big. They've got pots and pans in this round. They're using him to pail the water out, keep themselves afloat. I'm not sure if it's going to work out for them. So many early picks for FaZe Clan, and they capitalize on them. Really difficult game. Yeah, it would be very cool to see what the statistic is for the amount of, the amount of time that FaZe have got the first pick in the first, like, or like a pick in the first 30 seconds, 5v4s in, in that time, because it's been, as you say, so many times. There's a good average on the scoreboard for FaZe Clan, but again, Gobi and Santares are trailing their teammates by some margin. And Gobi in so many maps has been leading the charge. And Santero is obviously the star player, but they may not have enough in them to keep themselves in this match. FaZe Clan with five match points and a quite reasonable armory versus the pistols and odd rifle of Big Clan. Interestingly though, FaZe don't have any money. So if there is a world that FaZe loots this round, Big probably get to 12 and have, a, and have like a very good buy before FaZe can challenge it. So, there, this, it's Inferno. There isn't a world where this happens, but look at FaZe. They want to burst on at their side. We've seen big win with crap buys in this game already. There are sound cues for Olaf Meister. Here come the footsteps. Up close, though. They've got a crossfire. He goes back to the world, but that was too much. Big headshot from Rain. And now Samui has so much to do just with a fat match, though. Trying to delay as much as possible. Making a play, gambling through the smoke. The flashbang not going to work out. And now we've got Xantares and Tabson versus four. Is this the end of the road for big? It looks like it just might be. It's going to be so incredibly difficult. Zantaris on a Famas, Tassin on the Deagle. Tassin will have a great Tassin with the Deagle. Can't find it though. As Zantaris pushes forwards towards Porsche, there's four players. It's not happening. Guardian's done it. 16 to 10. Faze look better on Inferno. It was such a struggle for Big. There were moments when you would believe, but Faze, they deserve it. They played their hearts out, and Big are eliminated. Faze are going to the finals. Truly difficult second half for Big Clan. Just difficult game all over. Excellent play by FaZe. Made it so hard for them to defend. So many early picks for FaZe Clan. Really strong start from them. And maybe a statement moving into the final versus Cloud9. It is the end of the road for Big Clan. They had a good effort, a great start, but they have been eliminated from the tournament. And now it's just down to FaZe Clan and Cloud9 to find out who will be the victor. Yes, and FaZe look toasty hot, so that's going to be a very fun one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after the break with the Analyst Desk.